Yo, welcome to something episode something. Um, first off, I just want to say like, sorry I've been gone for the past few weeks regarding like commentary videos, man. Um, I was sick, sounded like absolute shit. <clears throat> uh, tested negative for the vod, for the vid, for the co. You know what I'm saying? tested negative so i might have strep i'm not sure i occasionally cough so i hope you guys don't mind um but i really wanted to show you guys this video because uh, i haven't done a uh, commentary on silver shard mines yet and yeah these games were streamed um on twitch live uh at subs world s-u-b-z world um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this game um starting off pi and i the feral druid we're going to be going mid while the rest of the team is going to be going lava. Um, something you want to pay attention to while you're going into lava. Um, some teams do this, man. I've done it before. <clears throat> is the, the enemy team will send everybody to mid except for the rogue to lava. And the rogue will swap lava long. Right? He'll swap it the other way. Um, so make sure when you're running into mid, maybe have somebody just pay attention, man. It could happen. You don't know. <clears throat> Starting off, um, I only see the Demon Hunter coming out, and he's going up to top, and my Druid is mid. Um, and the and I click on the Rogue at some point, and I see that he's actually stealth, and the Warrior was actually getting ready to go into mid. Um, but thankfully, he turned around, he goes Lava, the Druid got Storm Shocked or whatever the fuck, so I know that there's just a Rogue in mid. Um, unfortunately, my Druid was... Uh, communicating quite frequently that there were three people in mid somehow like listen to this man oh my god that route i need yeah. to just we're gonna swap I to so <clears throat> real quick demon hunter is up top yeah, right so they might be making a hit See, he's, he's saying that they have three coming, okay? And if you just go through your BGE, <clears throat> right? You know, Drew, DH is sapped, right? Everybody's in mid. The two boomies, like the, the people that would be going off cart, boomies, um, most often. Um, the boomies are in team fight. He's feared, he's feared, you know what I mean? And so I leave them to the two versus two. Um, because I wanted to go tag top, but... My leader told me to come lava instead, um, instead of going top. Top was giga free, um, but I went ahead and turned around to listen. <clears throat> Imagine that, me listening. Um, these the two druids are versus the rogue demon hunter. This this top cart would have been giga free, right? Um, <clears throat> so I listen, right? I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm on my way. Let's fucking get into it. And now, as I'm running into mid, I'm looking at cooldowns, I'm looking at trinkets, I'm looking at who has what, what can we do, what can we do to secure this team fight as a rogue, right? So I'm communicating with my team, uh, let's go HPAL, but there was a storm bolt on him that I wasn't paying attention to, because um, I, I don't know why. And so I keep pressure on the HPAL, stuns yard, and now I'm looking at <clears throat> who I can go next, who can take a lot of damage, because you don't want to sit on somebody that has defensive cooldowns procced. Um, I mean, unless you're like fucking gonna get the kill. Like, you'll know if you get the kill, right? But if somebody pops defensives, man, get off, get on to the next. Make those healers use cooldowns, right? Um, so, unfortunately, because of that bad call, we lose lava and we lose top, right? So they start off with two cart lead and we only have one because of mid. Um, <clears throat> With the enemy team capping lava, right, we want to stay here and try and wipe them as the enemy team is like kind of falling out. You see how um, the, the two druids are like way up the hill <clears throat> and I locked this H pound on full kidney man and there's a priest like way over there. Like what the fuck? He was actually way over there. Jeez. Um, everybody's like peeling out. Take advantage of when you lose a cart. Take advantage of getting those picks, man. I mean, look. We, we killed the H pal, we killed the Rhett. And so when you go into these next team fights, um, next lava, you can start slowly putting them on those split reses 
and what I mean by split res is like, I mean, look, this ret right here, <clears throat> he spawns in five seconds, but this healer spawns in 23 seconds, right? So this guy's gonna be in team fight, and maybe we could get a kill, right, before this guy reses, something like that. That's kind of what a split res is, is you want the res timers for the enemy team to be kind of like uh, staggered in a way, right? Um, so I'm just kidding these guys, trying to get some damage out. Um, and then I noticed that we need some help in mid. And mid is more important because we're able to get lava because we have nobody dead. And they do, right? So lava should be free. So I start rotating over, but unfortunately I get hunted, man. How's that? What is that ability, man? Um, instantly get my body taken. So make sure you guys body res in this map, by the way. A lot of people don't take uh, their bodies, especially in lava, right? Um, so we swap we swap lava because we <clears throat> excuse me we swap lava because we are able to get them on a split res right and so now we have three people in mid and we can allow it because of those split reses that we are allowing earlier right um, so I go ahead and I was gonna go mid at this point right I didn't grip tally spaz. Fuck me. but Hi, by me clicking Wait, on by me clicking on the druid, I don't know if you guys have noticed. All right, listen. Okay, let's focus up. We're losing lava. We're losing lava for numbers. So I was gonna go mid because lava was controlled by horde and mid was controlled by alliance, right? But I clicked on Pi, the druid, because I knew he was in mid, and I noticed that the rogue is gonna die within a second, and they're gonna end up getting mid. I just killed the rogue. They they should get mid. I'm coming lava. Right. So then I'm gonna rotate over to lava and hopefully be able to help out my team and start pumping some numbers, right? So this pa this priest, stun DR. This guy, stun DR. This guy, no trinket, off stun DR, right? So I'm communicating with my team, like, yo, let's pump into this Lila guy, right? You know, I got one target, two targets, three, four. Really slow on the rotation, man. That's a huge thing when you guys are target calling, man. Look at this, right? I'm communicating with my team way before the kidney is shipped, right? Laya. Laya, 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 right? Can you need him? I'm the only one on Laya, even though I've been calling his name. There's five seconds, there's two targets. Four seconds. <clears throat> the guy must have tap targeted off. He tap targets back on. Three seconds, half of my kidney shot is gone. And now we are just not getting to three people, man. Four people. Right? That's way too late. Look how much damage this guy took when four people got onto him. He damn near dies, okay? Make sure when your team is communicating, hey, I have kidney, or I can hodge, or let's get onto this guy. Make sure you guys swap to those targets, man. That kill should have been so free, right? He had nothing. He didn't PS himself. He literally did nothing. I bombed um, late. Um, it should have been free, right? It should have been free. Now he gets the PS because oh, of the other freeze, see, see the mold, right? We end up getting the kill, thankfully, but we lose the cart, okay? We lose the cart. <clears throat> so here, we're going to try and start killing these guys again um, before they get to lava so that we can start putting that team onto that split res, split res that I was mentioning before, right? Um, so let's fast forward a little bit where it's just split resing the entire team, getting kills, grabbing the bodies so that they don't body res, right? And now we're in lava, right? Because uh, the entire team's on split res. So we're trying to get these kills, man. With like this guy in the graveyard, this guy's just coming out of the graveyard probably, and this guy in the graveyard, right? We want to overman lava a little bit so that we can get those quick and easy kills so that we can put their the enemy team even further behind when it comes to catching up. So we kill the H pal again, right? And now the other priest is just here. We kind of have the advantage. For winning lava there's no way they're gonna get lava right so we go ahead and start splitting off um i see that my team is getting the kills and whatnot so i go ahead and go mid um this fucking red thinks he can keep up with subs world definitely not man um blind him shout us up him guy doesn't have trinket ship the kidney man ship the kidney get the free kill right duel the rogue so that my uh druid would live because that's i i that's more important you know so we don't have to wait 25 seconds plus on a body res and we also get the kill on the rogue right 
Um, we are kind of giving off like a free node the entire game. Have you noticed like nobody's gone top? That's not really necessarily good. Um, but a lot of teams, I don't know why, but they tend to play a lot more passive in the manner or like, yeah, in the manner of like, oh, we're getting lava in mid. We don't really need top. But if you're giving top 24 seven, the enemy team can easily turn the game around. Right. Um, <clears throat> and we're not getting lava. We lost the last two. And that's why these guys are fucking two carts ahead of us, which I can tell right here. Right. So we put their entire team on a split res. We get mid and I, I cheap shot both of these healers out of the cart and so that they can probably get a kill. Um, I see that the Paladin is back in team fight, so I call for the Kidney, right? And just pumping damage into this h pal man. h pal is a good target to Kidney, um, especially if they don't have Trinket, man. Trust me on that. They they take damage. I don't know why, but I just feel like h pals are easier to kill than Dispries for some reason. Don't ask me why. So we're just team fighting, staying in the cart, CCing people out. Um, they overmanned the, uh, the cart. So Alliance owns it. So we're trying to figure out how that how our team can get a kill. And it looks like the play might be the H pod in here in a second, man. Let's listen. We need to get top at least. And probably mid. Can we just open up? Alright, never mind. We're not gonna get it. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm I'm coming. Oh. we recognize we're not gonna get lava. Right? So I'm gonna go ahead and peel out as fast as I can um, in order to get to top before the enemy team can get to top. Because um, it's easier to control cart then lose a the cart and cap it back right so bg and i we take off to towards mid right we have two people in mid or bg and i head top we have two people in mid and we notice that mid might need some help because we have four people down right so i go ahead and communicate hey man i got this by myself why don't you go out on go and through clicking through my bge this guy is being targeted, this boomy is being targeted, the demon hunter is being uh, targeted as well. Not targeted, but he's like way the fuck over there, right? And the rogue's dead. So I already know that I can go ahead and leave, um, but the rogue stealths right away. So he kind of scared me. I was kind of worried. So I go ahead and leave um, later on. And now I'm rushing into the next cart, right? We have 1.8 carts to cap. We're capping lava, right? It's super easy to... Um, get into like a 10 man fight right and 10 manning a cart is okay but if your team has like a history of like losing team fight um maybe it's not the best idea so pi and i um or no it's just me i was keeping these two guys mid so that we can nine man lava and have the numbers up in lava and after that we rush over with some cc in mid and win the game dude that was about it most importantly, man, if you if you guys like don't really catch anything, I would say pay attention. That was a clean sap with everybody around, and I got that sap. <clears throat> but um, with everybody like, or if you didn't catch anything, definitely just try and call out. Like even though you're off carts, right? Even though the fucking cart is like right here, and the other cart's like right here, go help out your team at lava, man. Go ship a kidney. Go like burst some cooldowns, right? And off cart, it doesn't really matter if you get the kill. Just CC them out of the cart and, you know, maintain horde. Um, make sure you maintain horde because you can get a lot of residual points. What I mean by residual is just points ticking before the carts actually cap, right? So make sure you guys are doing that. Um, but yeah, pretty clean game. Not too bad. Um, we ended up coming back. They had two carts on us and we came back and secured the win with this final cap right here. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening, man. Um, I hope I helped you guys out in uh, commentating this. Um, I'm glad my voice is back. Excuse my couple coughs in here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. And you guys have a wonderful, good day. Later.